Hi guys, it's Ben here after another frustrating night for Liverpool, another game which we failed to win, a game we should have won, uh, first half absolutely dominant and then second half it just fell completely flat in front of the cup end, Sevilla started defending really well in fairness to them but we just couldn't, we couldn't regain that intensity that we had in the first half, that momentum that we had there towards the end of the first period, as soon as that stopped uh, the game stopped as far as we were concerned. Second half, it just nothing happened uh, in an attacking sense. Didn't create anything at all. Very disappointing, very flat. The defensive issues are still there, even with Lovren back in the side rather than Clavin. Um, a frustrating start. It's, 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 it's a group I still think we'll get through. Um, the other sides in, in, the, in our group are not particularly you know, teams that I, I fear, but look, let's, get, let's get into player ratings here. Um, Loris Karras had very little to do. Six out of ten performance, probably his, his distribution was okay. He had no real shaky moments. Can't really put my finger on it. Anything he did particularly wrong, there's no chance of either goal. So six out of ten. Um, Joe Gomez at right back. Uh, he gets sent off at the end there, but on the whole, he did okay. Um, had a bit of a tr tricky second half when Correa came out uh, to play against him. Um, the first yellow was a blatant one. The second one was a was a needless foul. So it's probably a a four out of ten for Gomez, just for struggling, I guess. Uh, but I, I still like him a lot. I, I, you know, he's a player that I do want to part partner Matip um, at centre back for reasons I'll get onto shortly. Matip himself was not great. Um, get still shaky moments. I thought he got forward quite well at times. He marauded, brought the ball out, um, showed a good intent to, to drive forward and and sort of start an attack uh, with, with some balls fizzed into the attacking player's feet. Um, so it's probably a five out of ten for him. I'm sick of talking about Dejan Lovren. I'm sick of talking about Clavin as well when, when he makes his mistakes as he did on, on Saturday against Man City. But Lovren comes back in. Um, you know, a lot, the, the talk since the weekend has been that Lovren's a lot better than Clavin, even if Lovren's far from perfect. Is he that much better? <sighs> They're both so error prone, much more so than Matip, who I don't think is that great. But Lovren's made an absolute howler there for the first goal. He's given the ball away, he's just kicking out of play, he's just doing stupid things. I don't even want to talk about it much longer. Um, what, why not just give Joe Gomez a go at centre-back alongside Matip, give him a run of games and see what happens. I don't think he can be any worse than Lovren, but I think his ceiling's a lot higher. I think he can be a player that doesn't make many mistakes. Speaking of mistakes, um, Moreno at left-back. Uh, in an attacking sense, first half, he was absolutely unplayable. I mean, he was the best player in the first half. He obviously does switch off for Sevilla's first goal uh, by not by not watching uh, Ben Yedder, not staying goal side of him, not being there to intervene when Yedder taps it in. Uh, obviously, he's not anticipating Lovren to make that mistake, but I still think he should be there, although it's maybe harsh to put the blame on him for that goal. Um, he should have been sent off, Moreno, to be honest. Um, the, the, the first Yedder card was obviously blatant, just like Joe Gomez's was, but he's very fortunate not to be sent off. A couple of times, actually, he really dived in. Cynical fouls, stopping counter-attacks. Um, so as much as he was great first half in attacking sense, and you know we're talking about the resurgence of Moreno as a as a Liverpool player, he probably should have been sent off. Um, so it's irresponsible in that part. Jordan Henderson had one of his worst nights in a Liverpool shirt uh, for a long time since since years ago really since he gained the captaincy. Um, unnecessary Hollywood balls. He does this all the time, Henderson. That's, I mean, look. Sometimes he'll have nights where he sprays them, you know, both sides of him, long 40-yard passes and they look great and they're on point all the time. Other nights he sometimes just needs to keep it simple. We just, there was a moment in the second half we just needed to keep hold of the ball for five or ten minutes because we weren't in it, we'd stop playing and he's still trying to just fire balls left, right and centre, fizz them into the players at 100 miles an hour, they can't control it. Um, you just need a bit of calm, a bit of panache in midfield sometimes. Something that Emery Chan gives you when he's in at number six. Henderson does. He sets a tempo a lot and he, he, is, he has got a great passing range. But there are times when you just need to keep it simple. And tonight he didn't do that. He was poor. Um, I'm going to have to give him a four out of ten. Genie Vinaldum played very well first half. So strong. Good, good on the ball. You know, Using his body well as he always does. So, so strong. So quick. Um, part of that great counter-attack. Uh, first half when Chan nearly scored. Um, Van Alden then went missing second half. It was it was a, a game of two halves for him. Um, I'll probably give him a six out of ten just because he was so good first half, even though he faded towards the end. Emre Chan um, had a very good first half as well, and again I guess faded towards the second uh, half. Um, fairly average display. I'll give him a six as well. Uh, going forward, Mohamed Salah, uh, I would give him my man of the match. I thought he was 8 out of 10 tonight, uh, gets a fortunate goal, but other than that, his, his, out, his, 
his outboard is always there, he's always a threat. Uh, frightening pace. I, I feel like I say the same things about him every time. Sometimes he's a bit wasteful, but not so much tonight. I thought his end product was much better tonight than obviously it was on Saturday and in previous games too. So an 8 out of 10 for him. Very impressed. And he just he always seems to get goals. Whether they're sloppy or not, he always seems to get goals. On the other side, Mane. Uh, very, very threatening, of course. Wins the penalty. He's involved in all the good attacking play that we're in. Um, sh should have had you know a couple of assists to his name, to be honest. Um, he's going to be severely missed. Uh, when when he's banned for three games. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 as well. Uh, 8 out of 10 for both Salah and Mane, but Salah edges man of the match. Uh, Firmino gets the, gets the equaliser, misses the penalty. Um, again, a quiet second half from him after a good first one, so uh, I think 7 out of 10 is about right. Um, still very happy with him as our centre forward. He worked very, very hard. Um, some great touches. Again, you, you have the same conversation about him most weeks now, just as you do with Salah and Mane. Those front three are the least of my worries. They all played well tonight. Um, just a shame that two goals wasn't enough for us and that Firmino missed that penalty. Um, big shame, big shame. In terms of the subs, uh, something that should have been done a long time before they were. The subs came way too late. I was saying on about 55-60 that I thought we needed some fresh legs in there. The midfield was getting tired. They were fading. Um, needed some, I wanted Oxlade-Chamberlain on much earlier. Then he came on as well. He actually looked quite bright when he came on, even if it was only for six or seven minutes. Um, Sturridge came on way too late. Coutinho came on way too late. Uh, we, just, we were too reactive, not proactive enough. We only brought Coutinho on when, when we went... Uh, when it went level. So to rate Coutinho's performance, he didn't really do much, probably a 5 out of 10, a couple of nice deliveries from the corner, but um, couldn't get it going other than that. Sturridge, barely involved, 5 out of 10, and then Oxo Chamberlain, probably a 6, because I did think he brought us to life a bit when he came on. Um, some good runs on the right-hand side. I want to see him start a game soon. I'm still quite enthusiastic about him um, in this Liverpool side, the pace we play out and the intensity. So I'm disappointed. I am. I just... I wanted the win tonight just to put uh, Saturday behind me. Uh, I thought we were so, so good first half. It's such a shame that we couldn't go into the break with more than the one goal lead. And it's such an even bigger shame that we have to settle for a point. I thought we were at least going to hang on for 2-1. But to be honest with you, towards the end, Sevilla looked like they could have nicked it themselves. Um, we dominated in all departments, really. Uh, we had so many more shots, much more possession. Um, we were just much the better side. Sevilla looked shaken at the back first half. and We really should have capitalised. But we didn't, we couldn't. Sevilla played very, very well second half. Obviously, Correa was outstanding. Uh, Muriel came on and caused some problems. But defensively, I thought they were very, very good. Um, really, really did sit deep nicely, keep us out second half. You, you have to hold your hands up and say, well done. It's going to be an interesting uh, return fixture when we go out to Sevilla in the uh, fifth game of this group. But look, we've got Spartak Moscow away next before playing Maribor twice. I think you need seven points in those games, and then you, you, you're in a you're in a pretty much a great position going into the last couple of games. I think really we should be looking at nine points in those. Um, but most importantly, it's Burnley on Saturday. How many times did we just see these games well, since Klopp came in? Really, where we just play so well first half and then fade and lose concentration, end up drawing two all at home. Um, it's happened again tonight. Let's hope Saturday is is the start of, of a run. We need to go on a run now. We need to we need to really put these really disappointing results behind us. We had, we had a good start to the season. Uh, after drawing at Watford, we you know did the double over Hoffenheim, beat Arsenal, beat Palace, albeit unconvincingly. Uh, the Arsenal game obviously was, was awesome. Uh, we need to get back to that. At Attacking-wise, again, I'm not worried, but defensively, we need to get our shit together because none of the defenders, none of the centre-backs are covering themselves in any glory. Uh, the full-backs still look a mistake away from us conceding a goal. Something has to change. Something has to change. It should have been changed in August. We should have brought in someone. Should have brought in Van Dyke, but should have brought in someone else. That defence is going to be the death of me.